hello friends thanks for watching this video today we'll see how we can load a multiple source in a single target table without creating a multiple sources objects in a mapping so we'll see what uh, for the demo purpose I have created three files I call as employee 1 employee 2 and employee 3 so I created one more file which is normally called as list file which contains the list of file which we are going to load the table so let's see come to the mapping I have created generic table flat file structure this is the file file structure uh, I have modified a little bit in the structure that I added one more option to capture the file and then advanced file advanced uh, tab will give the options to if there is a delimited changes or the value within the double quotes or single quote so as per the requirement so then and I have loaded the target table from the database side that is generic EMP table so let's go with the mapping first of all we need to drag the source then I will add one more um, expression transformation just to see the details I mean if there is a modification purpose though I'm not going to add any details on that and now I had required to add a target table so let's add a target table also so if you see in expression transformation you will see a current process file name so I will add this into the file name which I create a structure such a way that I can capture the file name also with corresponding their details like employee name, department and address etc. So let's save it this mapping and I will going to create a now session. So for session there is a shortcut to create a session. We'll go that way. So here is all details. So it's pretty uh, straightforward to create a session let's go with the work from monitor uh, workflow manager let's open the folder so let's go inside if you can see this is my session is already created without any much efforts so let's go with the session properties that to we need tweak little bit reason behind that will tell you so if you see a source qualifier so we're not going to load any of light file directly so there's an indirect way so we're choosing the source file type as indirect so and if you see the source file name this is called as uh, the list file this is called a list file which will contain all file name which are going to load so my list file name is called a generic 2.txt and all files you were to store there is a particular directory so my current directory is it is in a share with that where it is exactly it is in informatica it is in power center created server and for shared and this is an SRC file. So my all source file employee employee two employee three and list file I kept here. So let's come here directly again session. So that is about session. Now let's try to save and we'll run it. So before that we'll show the database side. So this is a generic target table which is I created then they don't don't have any records so now we'll try to run session yeah. after running session we we'll should see the records in the target table let's watch the monitor okay so it's so fast that it is already succeeded so let's see in a target database so this is a generic table so it contains uh, six rows and if you see here details it comes first two records come from the employee emp.csv that is first file second two rows are comes from second file and vice versa so let's it's session what too fast let's 
try to delete first records again and we'll show you again so currently there is no records let's run it so I'm just running again let's watch the monitor so it's running if you can see here and succeeded so let's watch the database data yeah so here you can see now six rows so this is a way we can do the we can load a six multiple sources in a single target table thanks for watching this video